Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Harmony Protocol Sync for February 8th. Uh, lots to discuss. Uh, yesterday, uh, Soph and I worked on the proposal for HIP 32, uh, which is going to decentralize the network. Um, we have also been working on a lot of stuff for Compound, um, and I've been doing audits for that. So um, a lot of my time has actually been on ETH Denver, which uh, has taken, it always takes most of my February um, time up. but um, yeah, on the uh, off chance I have some free time, I've been uh, finalizing the audit for Compound and uh, and our changes with the uh, band Oracle and, and some other optimizations. So that's kind of what I've been working on. Um, so if you want to give a little update. Um, yeah, sure. Um, so uh, on top of the HIP 32 that you just talked about, uh, I started to review since yesterday uh, our next release. Right, uh, so this one call it 2024.0.0, right? Because there will be no hard fork on that one, uh, but uh, mainly uh, having improvements into our protocol, so bug fixes and all those stuff. Um, so I think the review is not so bad. Uh, next week, when I'm back from the holiday, uh, I'll be testing that, okay? Uh, I want to test that because I had something weird today happening uh, when I was working on one of the stuff db on mainnet dot okay um so i'll be testing that next week okay so if everything goes well uh hopefully we have a a, a new release next week yeah <clears throat> awesome yeah um yeah we've been doing a lot of stuff for for the preparation for that hard fork so um getting that out and giving that timeline was awesome and i think that release date is going to go uh in line with the talk form and um, in the snapshot, given the two weeks time. So I think it should kind of come out all at the same time, which should line up perfectly. So thanks. Right. So just to update everyone here. Um, so uh, the the original plan may be a little bit delay, maybe like a week or so. Mm -hmm. But uh, I do think by end of March at most, we should have the leader rotation being enabled. So the hard fork for mainnet to be happening uh something somewhere end of march okay uh original plan was 13 of march but it's dependent on having a snapshot uh vote uh of that of that uh, feature to be approved um uh, but i think uh other 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 rate we are currently going it might be a little bit later okay so just to take nota okay yeah Great, thanks, Soph. Um, Diego, would you like to have anything to, to add to that? Hey, no, not much. I've been, so it was first, at the, the first time, or the first part of the week, I was uh, working with the SSL certificates for the RPC nodes and automating, automating the way we generate them. And after that, I moved back to the other test. I was regarding the leader rotation, like just having another external validator from another region on the other side of the world. And yeah, things have been looking fine. I start stopping few validators just to see stopping the leader to see how long the before the network would recover. And yeah, I was playing with diverse scenarios and things are looking fine. I'm executing a reset uh, reset of the DevNet network again. So we can test the, um, like more of a realistic scenario where we will have the same epoch where we enable the leader rotation, but also we externalize the network. So the idea is to see both things happening at the same time. In at previous tests, uh, those were happening at different epochs. So we want to see like if both things get activated at the same time, like nothing should happen. And then after that, we'll have another reset next week with the validator community. I will also be in chat with them. I will be talking with them just to let them let them know how they can participate in those tests. And yeah, all the info they need to know. And yeah, that's all from my side. Thanks, Diego. I appreciate you, um, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, 
from my side actually uh, two of the things that uh, recently we were working on one of them was the pruning of the database and another one was the sharing the state so both of them was uh, depends on uh, snapshot and the snapshot uh, database creation uh, it is uh, already fixed we had some issue with the root hash that i fixed that part and it's already can create a snapshot database but one thing happened that today i and soft were investigating it it was uh, when we create the snapshot today after uh after it get complete after two days so uh, for, for three terabyte of the data uh it took uh three terabyte size of the database current database on the mainnet it took like two days a little bit less than two days uh something like uh 43 44 hours and uh to create a snapshot after that the problem was the node stock and i see uh, one or two weird issues which uh, we were investigating on that uh, if the process of the creating snapshot it's already it is breaking something or or it affecting other states on the database uh, that's one of the scenarios that we were working on and another thing was uh, we test uh, the older version of the binary from the mainnet and to see uh, sorry from the devnet to see does it really work with the current mainnet uh, database and it was working so still i'm investigating that part to make sure to to figure out what is the problem with with that at the snapshot creation why the node is stuck and why it can't continue syncing uh yeah rather than that uh, uh a few a few fixes i upgraded the snapshot code uh with like uh, a few of the race conditioning and and a few of the refactoring on the codes i have done on it and uh, it could improve so uh, i expect if the pruning it works uh, i expect like 20 to 30 percent reduce in the database size on the mainnet which would help uh, the the validators to reduce the cost and storage that they need. Uh, yeah, that's all from me. Uh, thanks, guys. Um, Constantine? Uh, well, thank you. Um, thank you the uh, little rotation on the net uh, works and the works fine. So uh, I'm working on my previous PRs uh i'm dating the version of go and some other and uh, reviewing PRs. so i actually did nothing from the rotation this week so i'm just waiting how it will be um, that's all awesome um i did um oh actually soph did notice that the PRs that went into that release kind of just got merged without any approval. And I think that was during um, or before we made some changes to the, the policy on GitHub. Um, I did make a change yesterday uh, that did require two for the dev branch, um, just just to kind of heighten uh, visibility and get everyone to kind of come together on that. So um, just, being, just be aware of like just approvals that um, come um, Adam uh, or yourself yeah. Oh, okay no. hey uh, yeah so I'm actually just finished reviewing uh, a few of the pull requests that got merged uh, I think it's four five five three four five five four and four five five nine um, all good um, I think those were already I believe those are the ones you were talking about going into the dev, right? Um, yeah, these were like two ones from kind of a long time ago. 
So I think it was when the policy was open and then we changed it again. Um, so I think they just kind of snuck through. So I, um, Soph brought them up and um, I just like reviewed the policy. And I think two reviewers is good for now. I mean, we've done that in previous projects too, where two for dev and one usually for main, but um, you know, we can wor worry about that later. Everything looks fine. Nothing <laughs> odd. Yeah, it's a big release, so um, you know it's going to be nice to kind of get this out and go back to a a smaller uh, workspace that doesn't have so many complexities. So um, hopefully, uh, yeah, this this is going to go smooth. I have a feeling, and um, I think going forward, having a little bit um, more more uh, you know more updates. Uh, with less fixes is, is, you know, a good thing going forward. So um, anybody else have anything to add or discuss? Uh, just one thing, Tracy. Um, Constantin, when you can, can you look at, you know, so I know you submitted the, the PR to get the um voting power or the last voting power right um but not sure if you saw my comment so just have a look at it and see if that really does what i'm looking at okay because to me uh to, to, today we, we if this if there's any outages right um we know until what point the network has been able to reach out okay so would be 10 percent 20 percent 50 percent 60 percent right and at least we know the, the total voting power on that particular block has been proposed right uh, i'm just very if you pr we don't have that information so to me i don't care about the last block right i'm i'm, I'm more I, I just i'm i care more about the current block which may uh not working at that point of time right um so i, I need to understand how many validators have been participating into the vote, you know, uh, and we have that today with the current setup, right? But as you, as you know, that info is only from coming from the from, from the leader, right? So that's why I was suggesting that idea to to send that info over our committee. Yeah, uh, I, I saw this uh a comment i don't get but this information is uh, alive only two seconds uh but while block like, we are, while we are creating block it's information only for two seconds no i understand so that works well whenever um i mean your pr works well whenever the network is still working right you can look at the last block uh, count the numbers of signal and keep the voting power, right? Not that one, no issue, right? Uh, I'm looking at the current block. Okay, you know what? Before doing the reset with Diego, work with him. Take it down one, one, one or two nodes so that the network, in, where the definite is down, right? At the point of time, look at the watchdog. You'll be able to see the actual voting power that the battle was able to gather. And I want to have that uh -huh. same info when we, when we go fully decentralized. Uh, but uh, when uh, when I should uh, when I should send message when I receive a new uh, a new sign? Um, I, I don't have the info, right? Uh, maybe if, 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 if new signature, maybe I don't know. Okay, uh, uh, where will be the best? Uh, look at that logic from from you. You know, uh, oh, you can work with Diego as well. Okay, so if you if you both you can work together, that's fine as well. Okay, uh, but we need to have that info at the end. But, and, uh, and yeah, but uh, really, if network stuck, we if network stuck and we don't have any progress, I should uh, I don't know. I should spawn this message, and send it once per uh, I don't know once per five seconds or what. Not no, don't don't do once every five seconds. I think like as long as soon as you receive a as soon as you receive the the signature or compile the signature, you know, and just but, send it like, Yeah. But if I don't receive signatures, uh, nothing will be received. 
Definitely. As, as, as a leader, yeah. you, you, you receive zero, then you don't send, right? I mean, you are the leader, so you, you are the one to be sending, right? Um, and, and as you receive those signatures, then you'll be sending those signatures to the Prometheus Gateway so that we know up to which point uh, that leader received the signature. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I guess I know how. Yeah, so okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it for me. See. Great. Um, all right, well we can close this out. I appreciate you guys and um talk to you guys later. Thank you. Good luck everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.